It is strange to me how neglected and disregarded Malcolm Brogdon is. This year, there was a lot of hype about free agency. ESPN was making breakdown of all potential superstars. Meanwhile, nobody is mentioning one of the guys who was crucial for Milwaukee Bucks season. It's crazy. Brogdon's contract with Milwaukee Bucks expires this year and unless they want to go into salary cap, they will have to renounce either Brogdon or Middleton. And given that Middleton has a player option and he has bought a home in Milwaukee, you catch my drift. I know that some people will see this as a hot take, but I feel that Malcolm Brogdon can be much more impactful than players such as Kemba Walker or Tobias Harris. There are three reasons for this. His awesome defense, amazing efficiency and the ability to play off the ball. While Kemba and Tobias are great in their own regard, for example they can create their own shots and can be very impactful on the offense, if you don't give them the ball, they become more of a liability than advantage. Also, the selection of good shooting guards is pretty thin. You also have Clay Thompson, who although amazing, will be hurt for a long time. Another possible signing is Danny Green, and that's basically that. But let's start with the main reason why Lakers should sign Brogdon. This previous year, there was a lot of talk about Lakers scoring inefficiency. The team ended the season being 29th in both free throw shooting and three point shooting. Besides the fact that newly signed Anthony Davis will help in that department, you can rest assured that Malcolm Brogdon will be a great asset as well. Brogdon led the league in free throw shooting efficiency with almost 93%, so you can get much better than that. When it comes to three points, he is bit above 42%. It gets even better when it comes to catch and shoot, where he is 47%. This is great news for Lakers as opponents will not be able to double AD or LeBron as much. So basically they would have to pick their poison. One of the more underrated aspects of Brogdon's game is his playmaking. He averaged 4 assists per 36 minutes while committing only 1.8 turnovers in the same time span. This gives Lakers a potential second ball handler when LeBron sits. He is one of the best rebounders at his size and position, averaging 5.7 rebounds which nicely complements his overall defense. He also averages 0.9 steals, 0.3 blocks and 2 fouls per 36. While these numbers might not be eye-popping, it still means he is able to hold his zone, which will be crucial in case of playoffs. He is pretty heavy, which would allow him to bang with small forwards. In fact, he can efficiently guard positions from 1 to 3. In terms of his contract, he was one of the most underpaid NBA athletes this year. His value was placed around $20 million while he had a $1.5 million contract. No matter what, he is probably looking to get paid and according to what I saw this previous year, he can easily get $15 million from almost any NBA team. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that figure goes up to $20 million. While media doesn't mention him often, his stats don't lie. He has improved his efficiency each year and the team would be crazy not to have him. If Lakers are looking for a reliable off-ball shooter, a person who can guard multiple positions, Malcolm Brogdon can be better fit than almost most recognizable names. Tell me what you think about my assessment in the comments below. If you like my content and want more of it, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see ya!